Hello watchers. As you can see, I've got a big box from jacksonsart.com. Um, I really recently got back into printmaking, both I was trying to work out how to do it for packaging for my upcoming store, but then Artfuls and a box of printmaking goodies and I did something for the castle collection and I really enjoyed the process of it all again so I've decided to buy some more inking goodies um, inking goodies, printmaking goodies um, from Jackson's because they currently had special offers on things so things were a little bit cheaper than normal don't know how long that's going to last um, but let's open this up and see what I got I'm not doing this very well. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. You don't need to see that. That's the invoice. Right. We have lots of packaging be on the floor for now. <laughs> Alright, so first up I get some SD metallic inks. So we've got, uh, they call it bronze, but to me it's like a, yeah I suppose it is more of a bronze, but I like it as a copper because I like uh, deep coppers as opposed to um, the really reddish vibrant ones then a silver and a gold so I'll be using those I'll just put them to the side then let's do this oh these are just a couple of my Liquitex inks um, that I order I always put a couple in the basket, the ones that I don't have. Um, I got muted pink. And muted violet. But the muted colours are always, always like um, sold out. So whenever they're in stock, I try and grab one. Um, but yeah, I like, I love my inks. I like to mix them with wash as well now to get different sort of pastel -y shades. Um, then in this one, oh, we got a big tin of Cranfield. Um, traditional relief inks in deep red nice 500 gram is it 500 gram yeah um, inks this is the oil one not the water based one because I know these metallic ones I use to open acrylic um, I'm going to try and find a medium that thickens it up a little bit but, and then this is the SD um, ink, which is nice and vibrant and I like the texture, but I just think that the oil might give me a bit more of the effect I'm really after. Whereas, I don't know, I'm a, I don't know, I'll have to test them out and compare them. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give the old traditional inks a, a, a go basically. Um, just put that there. Now, I got another ink, which is... 
the play for green. Um, I don't know why, does anybody know why they'd put the colours like that? Is that because that's when it's wet and that's when it's dry? So it's just warning you that it's not black? I don't know. But the red doesn't come like that, so I don't know why they do that. I've not figured that out yet. Quite dusty. Um, and then I also got the transparent extender. Um... I believe you're supposed to use this as almost like a white to sort of um, uh, make the colours a little bit um, lighter. I think that's the case, but this is why I've got it to test it and try it. Um, also, I've gone and bought some of Jackson's Lino sheets. I needed a bigger one for a project that I've got up coming up. Spoiler alert. Um, well, more of a hint than a spoiler. Um, this is really thin though. Um, is it thin? No, it's not thin. Because like, this is the couple of sheets that I got from Artful. I think they're actually the same. Yeah. No, they're not the same because they smell differently. <laughs> so, but yeah, the the soft cut sort of stuff. So, yeah, we'll give those a whirl and see if they're any different. And then I got a couple of books to sort of give me some more tips and tricks on different things I can do because I think I do very basic sort of cuts and things. So, just hoping that reading up being a nerd doing some research might help in my endeavor and give me some new ideas as well that's that one and oh this one comes in here it's own little box a really tough box And then block printing. Ah, very different style of book to the other one. The other one's more modern. But I think learning the old ways are always a better idea. And then you can enhance them, I think. But yeah, these are on sale as well, so always good to have. So, I've got a whole bunch of goodies to play with and learn from. Um, if I do get even more into printmaking and I still find that I enjoy it, I think I'm going to invest into some better cutters than the SD ones because I've already found that they're getting quite blunt. Um, and I don't remember the ones at art school getting blunt so quick, so I think I might invest in some more um, cutters if I do continue with printmaking. I mean, I can't see why I wouldn't, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is my little printmaking haul video. Um, and I look forward to sort of sharing with you what I'm going to create with these things. Um, I'm guessing with the green and the red, you can guess where I'm going with this stuff. Um, let's just see what's inside here. I just like seeing like the texture of these things. But this is when it goes horribly wrong and I spill it all over absolutely everything. Mm. 
Hmm. These are really hard. I mean, is it? Is this just like the skin on the top? I'm hoping it's like the skin on the top. Yeah, I think it's just like skin on the top. <laughs> so we've got a nice green. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Is it supposed to have skin on the top? Or is it because air's got to it? Which is not good. Let's stick that back in there. But I mean, the, the lid isn't exactly airtight comes off so easily so let's just try the red one and see if that's the case with the red one as well yep the red one's loose as well This one's got plastic yeah this one's got plastic on the top and this one as you can see is very much ready to go so hmm I don't know what to say <laughs> is the green one supposed to be like that or not mm. let's try the extender as well just to be nicer. Because that's wasting a lot of ink. I mean, the first skin there, it was really thick. Now this is a tougher lid. Oh, this stuff is full to the brim of yellow goodiness. But again, there's a little bit of a skin. So perhaps that's just sometimes how it how it goes but these are nice thick as I remember them so we'll give those a whirl but yeah thank you so much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul um, let me know below in the comments if you use any of these and you've got any tips and tricks for me especially with the oil uh, inks um, I know to clean them with vegetable oil and, you know, they're nowhere near as easy to clean as the water ones, but we shall see how that goes. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and in the meantime, happy architecting.